This is a short little progress video showing some of the work with the wood chips. I bought a semi-truck trailer load of wood chips. Had almost enough to make it through this winter, but not quite enough, so I just bought another load. And now I have a bunch of ground cover all over the yard. Um, and this is the last little bit of the piles that were out here in the yard drying. Um, they're just a couple feet tall, so there's a pair of gloves or scale. And there's a little tractor and so the yard was covered as well as a whole bunch down the way and now this pile's about six feet tall or a little more <clears throat> so getting ready to cover it for the winter it's the middle of october now and these are the wood chips that I bought a year ago. So this is part of what was fuel for last winter. And what didn't get burnt last winter. And here's another pile um, about the same size. And this is more than enough to get through the winter, but it's what I have. And um, there's also down there another big long pile and then I don't know if you can really see but I've taken lots of the wood chips and gone around the property like way down there can't really quite tell just looks like a road but um, basically that was all green but that's a trail that we used to go down to that part of the property so this this will be plenty enough wood chips. It's interesting. I'll see how the different wood chips burn, but you can see in the new wood chips must have been a bunch of fresh pine trees that were chopped down. There's all kinds of pine needles in it, so the chips look a lot more brown, dirty, whereas these chips are more, um, not much of any pine needles in it. These must have been cedar or fir from up in the forest. So these are super dry and this is what I'll use first. And then these are pretty dry but they're dry enough to stack I think without getting them to mold and compost in the center over the winter but it's middle of October so it is what it is and um, so I'm getting them in a pile so that I can get the plastic over them and then <clears throat> I'll take them from here <clears throat> up to where the blue tarp is and load them in the boiler in kind of a temporary setup and then uh, eventually get the boiler into the inside of the garage, but I want to do more proving and testing on the boiler and the control system, computer control system, before I uh, put it inside the building. So that's not very interesting. Here's the house. And so that's the wood chips. And um, I'll do another video in a minute, or, well, after I finish moving the wood chips and show you the tile installation, because the tiling is finished now, and I might fire it up and warm up the floor for the first time later today. So, um, today or tomorrow, we'll try that. <laughs> 